Sometimes it's just you. I'm a little young guy who needs directions and assistance. A little young one who wanted to be successful because he was once spoken to about his intelligence and his brilliance. It was stimulating and amazing to think I have support and some guidance. Oh, you can be a speaker. You can be an author. How about you become a lawyer, a teacher, a doctor? They said it as though I can pay some petty cash for it and get it from the store. But what they didn't tell me was the core of it all. They left out the moral of it all. The moral of them all. Themselves all. Not the careers all. They should have said more and not make it seem like success will just flow from me like a waterfall. Now I'm in some struggles and I can't find guidance. It's like the guidance is just too busy walking in absence and it's just consistently absent when I need it most to be a present and a present for my present because I'm being run over and my patience is running over and boiling over although my patience is not a kettle, neither is my patience a pot. It's still still running hot because I'm not seeing what I was told I would have been by 25 years old. I'm still just a little young guy. I'm looking for all those people who were there for me when I was covered in brilliance and was called a success clot. I'm looking for the ones who were there for me or who made it seem like they were there for me, although now I'm seeing I was always on my own and their promise to me was somewhat of a bribery just for public perception, extending some niceness for five minutes of some public acceptance. It turned out to be false direction and some public fallacy incorporated with relationship bureaucracy. When I run back on those memories and those railways trail my mind, I shake my head in disbelief because I can't believe the support I once had could have ever been resigned. They made it seem like they would be there during the problems and the warfare, but now I'm looking and can find them nowhere. They should have told me I needed to be aware of those words because I might experience some sort of a nightmare and when I need them most, looking for them, I will find them nowhere. You see... I'm not really a little young guy, but I'm mentally a little young guy because I never lived the life I wanted to live, but I don't ask myself why. I just know I lived the life people around me told me to live because the way they framed the ideals sounded so ideal, but then I lived a little and the ideals weren't so ideal was what my experiences revealed. My experiences also unreeled the notion that when you're doing some works, people scrooge for perks. They appear to be on your side, but when you're in your problems, they walk on by those problems you can't call on many people to help solve them because unless they are mathematical equations no one wants to be involved in the action although i find some errors in that expression making it seem like mathematical equations are even desired and are quasi auctions they are far from the two just like people wanting to help solve others problems are far from them too It's unfortunate but the truth that sometimes they dig the hole but your knowledge wasn't honed and your knowledge wasn't holed. So you fall into the hole then realize the cold at the end and that the advice you were given was a bit between hot and cold. I say a bit between because you can make the best from a bad advice and the worst from a good advice. It all depends on the individual and the way he or she decides to dice the information and splice the knowledge for ingestion, hoping not to experience indigestion. But just ensure that if a mistake is a merchandise that you learn from the situation, make not the same mistake twice. That's one thing I brought back from my life's lessons because I realized some people are there today and are willing to help tomorrow but the moment you don't get the pay they said you would, they failed to give the way in which they promised they could. Tomorrow is the day they care not about what's next and their involvement in it all. So the day you find someone who cares for your success and is not being that false public mess based on what they express, hold on to that person because people don't always pass the test. They don't show up every day and they don't even show up every other day. When everyone is on his or her own way, you need not forget your way. You need never forget your way because when your way doesn't go the way because you miscalculated how much the success, struggles and challenges would weigh, you need to take you out of the issues to put you back on the pursuits. So legal statutes are cool but don't think personal statutes are just minuscule. They might seem the size of a molecule but have bigger impressions, especially when they're victims of compression. So when no one else is for you and is on your side, be for you because when you say ride, you have the choice as to ride or fly. 
It's amazing what supporting you can do for you when you decide to make your support a bit more than that old molecule. You see, people advise you today with advice they think would be good for everyone and what's good for this one isn't good for everyone so don't just go around taking advice from just anyone unless you're incorporating you in your equation as everyone doesn't work for everyone because remember, not everyone wants to tackle a mathematical equation because it's not something everyone loves and everyone doesn't value everyone else's life as an auction one with zeal, eagerness, and conviction. Sometimes it's just you in this world of explosion. Well, it's a brand new day and I'm no longer a little young guy. Yes, I was young when I wasn't young because I lived the life that others sung that sounded so sweet and so soft to my ears. But now I'm living my life growing and getting wiser throughout the years. I can fend from me and seek my own courtesy with no worries of others' falseness for petty old publicity and being a victim of a relationship bureaucracy, whether it's a friendship or a lovership, a family ship or an acquaintance ship, be on the lookout because not everyone is really about a sound dealership and a fellowship. Some are there for the membership and to be suspects in your battleship, but you have to sort the difference and execute your own proprietorship. I want the best for me and my experiences, the best I will be and the best I will achieve. I'm not doing this for public acceptance, public presence, or public substance. I'm doing this to give my life true direction, not consumed with public or personal absorption. But a life of value filled adoption and success adaption, not seeking public attention or public attraction. I want to learn from the public conditions and the public confusions so I can know what needs to be a part of my personal deletion. It's for me and my life to start my personal combustion to arrive at a personal conclusion running from honing public confusion. Sometimes it's just you in this life filled with many right and wrong diffusions.